hello guys this video tutorial is related to the presentation of your viva if this video will help you in developing your presentation for the viva so the first page of the presentation would be of the title page in which you have to clearly mention the op topic of, uh, of your research your supervisor name and your name after this you have to clearly state the introduction in the bullet points with citation don't fill the presentation or the slide with full of the text you have to clearly mention the key points of the introduction in short sentences so you can you uh, you can use three or four bullet points and you can uh, explain your introduction of the topic after this you have to clearly state the problem statement on in this slide you have to clearly state the research problem as well as the research gap so in the first point you have to clearly point out the problem you identified and after that what was a gap while doing the literature you identified so you have to clearly mention both of the things the problem and the gap with citations and try to use the recent citations in identifying or mentioning your problem in the gap then you have to clearly state the research objective of the study and then research question and then theoretical background in this slide you have to clearly state the theory you used in developing your research framework who proposed that theory and what that theory postulates or explained so you have to clearly state that theory and you have to clearly uh, mention that how it is how it is helpful in developing your literature uh, developing your research framework after this you have to clearly uh, mention the re related literature that is relevant to your study so you can make like make the table of like this in which you can uh, write the name of the research estimates statistical technique and conclusion like this and then what the what technique they use what was the conclusion what were the results and what was the topic and who conducted that particular study so you have so you have to clearly mention the name of the authors in the APA style after this you, you can just mention three of them there is no need to mention five after this you have to present the methodology like research approaches quantitative research purpose explanatory research design correlational data source is primary data collection instrument is survey questionnaire that is based on five point if you have if you have seven point you have to mention seven point liquid scale sampling technique was non probability purpose if target population is consumers who buy energy efficient household appliances whatever your target population is you have to clearly mention it over here after this you have to mention the sample size of the study and then the statistical technique you used if you see over here in the sample size there are two uh, sample sizes mentioned over here that is 351 and 291 useful so the 351 was a sample that was initially gathered but after the data screening it remained to 291 so you, ha you have to clearly mention the total sample size you gathered and the useful sample size remained after the data screening process after this you have to clearly mention your research model in the pictorial format please draw it on the slide don't copy paste from the word document <coughs> after this you have to mention the results of the pilot testing like this and you can also mention the threshold value of the chronic alpha value like this with citation as well on the slide and you have to mention the total number of the respondents you take for the pilot testing over here then you have to mention the slide of the data screening and you have to clearly discuss the steps you followed in the data screening process such as you identified missing values and then you replace the values by the series mean then you detect outliers both univariate and that multivariate univariate outliers were detected with the method of z-score and you deleted 12 univariate outliers after that multivariate outliers were detected with the method of mahala novus distance and 10 outliers were detected and the remaining sample size remained to 290 
After this, you have to clearly mention the demographic profile of the respondents like this. Please don't take the screenshots of the table. Draw it over here like this. Then you have to mention the construct reliability. First of all, you have to mention in the first point that what is construct reliability is with citation. Then how you examine the construct reliability. So you can see it over here that CR value should be greater than 0.7 and you have you have to mention the citation as well over here and if you have already mentioned the Cronbeck alpha values and if your Cronbeck alpha values are accurate then you have to mention this criteria as well Cronbeck alpha greater than 0.7 after this you have to mention the slide of conversion validity in the first bullet you have to mention what is conversion validity is basically and how you examine conversion validity so there are the group two criteria to examine conversion validity AVE and outer loadings you can mention the threshold values like this along with the citations then you have to place the table of conversion validity over here in this table you can see that the name of the variable is written over here Cronbeck alpha value CR value and AV value and similarly outer loading values and as well as adapted sources so you can divide this table into two slides like this so it can be visible to the audience again you can also mention the threshold values of the tables at the bottom of this table so if you forgot then you can see on the slide after this you have to mention discriminant validity first what is discriminant validity is and what are the criteria you follow in establishing the discriminant validity so on the slide it is mentioned that front and locker cross loading and HTMT measure whatever the criteria use you have to mention only th uh, only that particular criteria after this you have to mention the exact table of the foreign and locker table make sure to bold the values of the diagonal because these diagonal values are the square root of AVE and the rest of the values are the correlational values please watch the video of discriminant validity before going for the viva and you can also mention the criteria like this at the bottom of this table after this you have to mention the table of HTMT N no need to bold the diagonal values because in this table there is no square root of AVE and you can also mention the criteria at the bottom of this table as well of HTMT then you have to mention the table of cross loadings try to bold the crawl bold the values of the attitude which are higher in their cells so like this you have you can divide the table of cross loadings in two slides like this and you can uh, simply mention the criteria of cross, la cross loading at the bottom of this table after this you have to mention the results of path analysis try to write the paths um, in full forms no need to write the abbreviated forms such as ATT and PI it makes it makes confusion to the audience try to write the full form like attitude and then purchase intention you have to mention the values of the coefficient p values and the results significant or insignificant and try to mention the criteria that how you consider significant so the value of p less than 0 0.05 are considered as significant like this all right after this you have to mention a slide of coefficient of determination and predictive relevance so you have to mention the r square and q square values over here r square is basically the coefficient of determination and q square is basically the predictive relevance you must know the threshold values and the criteria of these of the tables and you must know what is coefficient of determination and what it tells and what it predictive relevance and what it tells so must read before going for the viva after this you have to make a slide of conclusion in bullet points just write the key findings of the study after this you have to mention the key recommendations of the study try to address each each variables justification with citation and then after this there must be a slide of direction for future research that is basically uh, also called the limitations of the study and this is the last slide so going back you must know on this slide this is basically the main slide you must know that how attitude if attitude is significant on purchase intention what would you recommend to the industry similarly if it is found insignificant how it, it insignificant what would be the reason of identifying or get, uh, getting the data of insignificant results in between these two relationships so you must know about this 
or you must know or you must remember the citations that particularly identify the similar results again uh, in the viva ppt there are two ma main slides the one is problem statement that should be properly addressed uh, because when you go into the viva the main question or you can say the first question would be related to the problem statement so you must well prepared for this question i hope this video will help you in making your viva ppt and in preparing for the viva thank you so much